started with the dyno, where we put the equivalent of 150,000 miles on the EcoBoost. Then we drove it across country to drag 55 tons of timber. Then it was down to Florida, 11,300 pounds attached to the back of the F-150 at high speed for 24 hours. What can we possibly do next? Davis Dam, a charming little stretch of road that for about 10 miles does nothing but ascend at a 6% grade. How is the durability going to be proven here on Highway 68? This is a torque sprint. We're going to do a wide open throttle, taking a look at who gets to 60 miles an hour fastest, and then who gets to the top of the hill the fastest, pulling a 9,000 pound trailer. This whole thing just seems patently unfair. I mean, this is a 3.5 liter engine, the EcoBoost is, and Correct. it's going head to head with a 5.7 and a 5.3 liter? You're basically just flooring it full out. EcoBoost engine, it still outperforms the competitors' V8s. The F-150 goes from 0 to 60 about 12 seconds faster than both the Ram and the Silverado. For the entire three and a half mile run, the F-150 still wins. In fact, the F-150 finishes almost 43 seconds faster than the Silverado. Over 160,000 equivalent miles on the EcoBoost. Harsh miles versus both the Chevy and the Ram, which are essentially uh, brand new trucks. This truck has just tremendous torque. For that customer who is in the field working hard, the EcoBoost engine is going to be clearly um, what they are going to be looking for. Or maybe just trying to get up a hill and pass a Chevy Silverado who's pulling a boat, who's essentially standing still. It'd be nice to get around him. Next, we're putting engine 44-8AA into a full-on off-road racer to run the legendary Baja 1000. Tortura in Spanish. 